What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Top Mops Let's Play. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe to the daily FM content on the channel. Down below the Let's Play channel and the FIFA channel as well. Obviously this channel is a bit delayed with, with just the PC problems. I'm still not convinced it's been solved myself. Uh, hit the like button down below on those as well and subscribe to them as well. If you want to keep up with all that content. So today we're on the page of Cobell again. It's just because I don't want to show anything that's been um, happened off camera. Um... This keeper is one option I'm looking at. Um, the passing is a bit of an issue though. But I do need a goalkeeper. Because Lovis is just not going to be good enough. He's 30, obviously he's 34. So we need to sign a goalkeeper anyway. Now the, the idea would be maybe sign a young goalkeeper. That we can develop. Uh, that's something I'm looking at as well. There's a few other, few other guys that I'm scouting. Or looking at, or considering scouting anyway. So yeah. Um, games our camera. You can you can probably guess what's happening when you, show, when you see the games off camera. But... Yeah, there's been there's been a slight issue with uh, a couple of games, but we'll go we'll go through that in a second. But first of all, let's see what happened in those games off camera. He lost Bayern Munich 5 0. Adam, Adam Mann sent off though in the 29th minute. They were already 2 0 down at that point anyway. Beat Newcastle. Um, we should we dominate that game. Beat Sporting Lisbon 3 0. Comfortable, comfortable win. And then we drew with Fulham. Not a bad result given that we had 10 men uh, for the majority of the game. And we nearly won't get And we could have won it near the end as well. Um, yeah, the Champions League group, the, the, the Bayern Munich game became pointless because somehow um, Rangers got a win against Sporting Lisbon. And it didn't really matter. Um, but it's what I thought would happen. It was Bayern Munich top, us second, and then a 50-50 shot who was finishing third and fourth. I had a slight favourites on Sporting Lisbon, to be honest with you. Um, the only surprise that we were only one point behind them, and the games against Bayern Munich, we had against, I ran set off with one of them, and we were level, and we were even with them in the other one until that first goal went in. It was a competitive game in that one. So it depends, it depends how you want to look at it. They have drawn Champions League for the next round as well, last 16. And we've got... Well, round of 16, sorry, they call it. And we've got Atletico Madrid. Honestly, it could have been a lot worse. We could have got Barcelona. 
Um, we could have got Bayern Munich. No, we could have got, could have got Barcelona, Juventus, or AC Milan. So it's not terrible, but it's not exactly easy either. So it is what it is. So today, guys, your games against Bolton away and also Aston Villa at home. The next episode, we're going to do a mid-season report. We'll look at how it's going and what's going and what how, how, how things are. League table as it stands, we're still four points clear at the top, which is the same position to be in. The most important thing is we are way ahead of our target of your league football. My only worry about this is that they may decide to make it more difficult next season um, for us. But I feel like what I don't, what I'm worried about is them changing this to next season from being oh, okay, yeah, required title challenge. I think going from uh, Europa League qualification to that is a bit of a weird kind of um, request. Um, just don't think it really makes sense. We're overachieving this season. We really, really are. Uh, but we can, we're four points in the league, so at some point we've got to start talking about a title challenge, haven't we? But I don't know if we're quite there yet. Anyway, Bolton game first. Let's go, let's go beat the team. So that's it we're going today, guys. I made a few changes. Obviously, I limited what I can do with the lineup a little bit. I don't want to make too many changes. Once I still want, I want to win this game. Um, I'm also not playing Harry Kane, so he needs rest. Um, but it shouldn't be an issue. Hopefully, I can just bring Don Leon, Don Leon later on in the match. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm going to go back to key highlights. I do prefer it for editing purposes. Um, I try some the highlights, but I think the way I did the previous series worked really well. Key highlights because it means... Previously, when I've done these episodes, I, I did it, in case you're new to the series, I did a comparison with looking at, after I finished, I did a live com basically, and I looked at it, and looked at what I had, I put in for when, when I went through it myself, and then looked back at what the key highlights were, and they match up really well. So, um, I don't see the need to do extended highlights, um, for me personally, and it helps me edit out the crap in the episode a bit easier. Because shows the key moments in the game, which you won't want, want to see, isn't it? Really, you're not going to get a in-depth analysis on the match on a, on a huge episode because I'm gathering against that amount of time the length of the episode is going to be. So, yeah, um, Bolton away. Let's see if we can get a win in the cup. Going for Bolton, and Sanchez gets it clear. Which Harrison doesn't win. Doesn't win. Well, they win the ball. Couldn't keep it though. When it worries a lot of changes in this lineup, and oh, what was the poor pass? Emerson Royal. I said poor pass. Oh, was it alert from the guy ah, again? Emerson Royal, play the ball forward, lad. Just I, I wish they could be instruction of, instruction of if you want to pressure, you might lose it to get rid of it to the keeper. Allow us to regroup ourselves. Uh, go get it. That's that's Lloris's ball. It should be anyway. Yeah, just like wouldn't the pressure there's a, there's a ball possibly on in the space and then run onto it. Rather we do that and then allow us to regroup behind you if we have to, than to stand there and lose the ball and get you know it's just it's, 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 it's a bit annoying. It's like the the, the, the two rigid in the in what they're thinking. Oh, go go play a short pass. No, because there's a oh that was nearly in then for a second I thought he found Lucas Mora. These guys obviously are not playing the main team for a reason. Uh, so all these guys, not all, but a lot of them could be moved on. Good ball that. Van Gio takes it on. Charles is in there. And it's in. I wasn't sure, but I was waiting for an offside call, honestly. Uh, I was waiting. Uh, look at that. Admit this aloud. Yeah. Was he offside? Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he was. That's definitely offside. Not even debatable. It was from Royal. Lucas Mora. Royal. Close it, close it in. Davidson's a header. Dan Juma. Hakan Connor trying to go to the box. Deflected and in. I think that's an own goal. Yes, it is. I thought it can't be offside, surely. 1-0. Uh, Bolton 0. Tottenham Hotspur for 1. It's not um, the greatest goal we'll, we'll, we'll ever score in the series, but we'll take it, won't we? I mean, it just good. Davis there was really well. Dan Juma, good awareness. And then Hakan. It's just, again, it's what I said about this game at Match Engine. Look, look at that goal. He did a box. Hakan's got long shots, and there's nobody coming out to try and close him down. Granted, they might not have got it anyway, but they didn't even try, did they? But half time nearly here. It's 1 0, which is good. Emerson. Throws it in to Richardson. Lucas Mora. I can. Good ball, Richardson's thrown. Goal! It's two! Bolton. <clears throat> excuse me. Bolton 0, Tottenham Hotspur 2. We take that. Richardson's a player that I could see myself moving on for a younger striker, honestly. Um, unless I want to make him back up left winger. Which is another option. We can discuss that maybe next episode in the mid-season summary. Uh, but 2-0. 
great stuff. And the most important thing is Kane gets a rest. Because I, I don't I didn't want to play how close was he to be caught offside here? Nah, he's well to be comfortable in here in that position. Great great from Richarlison and we take the and we take a two 0 lead. <laughs> Half time. Great great scoreline. It allows me not to make any more change to the line up. Uh please number of shots on target. But yeah, I do like the key highlights. Uh, I don't know what you guys play in yourselves and your own saves, whether you play key highlights or you play extended highlights. If I'm playing myself without recording for YouTube, I play extended. But on YouTube, I feel like just to save time and get a buzz out quicker for you guys, it makes sense. I can with the free kick. It's, good, it's, it's a great day, I'm telling you. <sighs> Again, someone said in the comment section, um, which I will get to in a moment, about... Um, signs. I'll probably reply to you in, in the comments. In the comment, as I'm just sneaking through my phone, which is as I'm recording this, or not long after recording this. Basically, he's saying about Rob Prowse, is he worth the signing? He is if you really value set pieces and you want that set piece threat. I signed him for that reason also because I never, I never, I never used him before. But I wanted a set piece threat because I struggled to score from some, some, some corners and free kicks. So I wanted that extra set piece ability that I didn't really have in the team, in my opinion. So yes, he's worth it. But it's a lot of money. So unless you really want to utilize set pieces or you really want to improve that every team, he's not it may not be worth it. But it depends on what team you manage, of course. If you've got like two hundred million pounds in your bank balance, then maybe he's worth it because just to throw away a bit, bit of money into it. So Basuma, can we get a late goal here and make it free? Be nice. Sanchez, Basuma, Tanganga, Emerson down the line. He's seen it, but he's not played it. Now he's playing box balls with Salas in the punch area. I mean, it's, it could mean three or four here very easily. Uh, Richardson looks really good. Has looked really good, looked really good today. Uh, rotation is important. I've got. I've said not going to make too much. Not, not going to make subs here because I'm doing this for a reason. Um, Sanchez, yeah, just a very safe, simple performance after the erratic couple of games we had red players sent off. It's nice to get a nice, simple win. Uh, which it should be against Bolton. No respect to Bolton, but no matter what team we put out, we should be in this game. And they scored. <laughs> um, don't think it's going to affect the, the game. That's just down to, once again, a bit of sloppiness in our play. Um, you see here, look, there's three guys around there. No one is... I don't know what Ben Davis is doing. Uh, he's just not switched on. And, the ball and, the and then once that happens, it's like a house of cards. It all falls apart a bit, doesn't it? But two, one thing is a bit of a false score. And really kind of flatters Bolton a little bit. We've been comfortable in this game, and that's going to be full time in a second now. There it is, full time. Bolton one, Tottenham two. Happy with that. Very pleased with that. I'm going to say good. It's a good result. I've been a bit negative on them in a couple of performances. Getting out of the cards at the moment, which is really, really frustrating. Um, but anyway, on now to the next game, which is Aston Villa. Fourth round draw, guys. Let's um, go through this down and have a bit of drama. Home draw. Anybody at home, really? Anybody at home? So watch me, Chelsea. Watch. Great, great draw for us. Brighton versus no good draw for us. Nottingham Forest leads again. Penalty sides playing each other. Cool. Bristol City versus Blackpool. Okay. Oh, give us Crawley Town. Come on. Damn it. I want someone easy. Ideally, Norwich, Fulham. We're gonna get flipping Brentford, aren't we? Wolves. That's not easy. But Chelsea. And also playing each other, Brighton and Man United playing each other is actually not bad for us. Obviously, it's in December 20th, so it's after the World Cup happens, isn't it? So it's still before that break. So yeah, back for back to back for the back for the Villa game. So a bit of news, guys. They plan to expand the stadium. I always I always ask this kind of thing. They're going to start it in um, end of May and it'll be completion in August. So it's increased capacity by. Um, Excuse me. Um, capacity of visual capacity of seventy one thousand that costs forty seven million pound, which is great. It's more money for us. Here we are, guys, against Aston Villa and Lemont. Lemont's been banned further, further, further two matches. Very annoying how how that works. It's like it's like yeah, you, you're going to ban him. Fair enough, but can you like give us a bit more of a uh, heads up about it? Um, it's just ridiculous that. They're doing it that way. Like, you pay one game, like, oh, there's two more after it. It's a bit annoying. Um, but it is really, isn't it? So, yeah, here we go, guys. Aston Villa, who are not in great form. But as we know, form does not matter in this game against us. We have our saves anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, 
yeah, but the good news is I rested players in the last game in the cup. So, um, like Kane was rested, you know, other players were Rob Prowse, people like that, Poro, Sessignon, players got a bit of rest. And you see, one win in the last five, but they're playing a 4 4 2. So, we know that 4 4 2s are going to be incredibly annoying to play against. But we'll see. If, we, if we've done that, play that we can, we should win this game. Not comfortably, we should win this game, but we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see what we do, won't we? Poro. Kulisevsky, Basuma, finds Romero, he's plenty of time to pick a pass out here, but he's got, he's got not many options, Ward Prowse, went that one ball at the top, you can see that one pass we're waiting for, to, to get through, Romero, Hoiberg, Kane, dropping deep, swings it out wide, that's what Kane will do, will make an extra man in midfield, to get that, get that, to get through those, those lines of defence, then Juma, can he find a pass, he's got Basuma, Good ball. Sessing on early ball in the box if you can. Right. Kane can't miss. I was going to say early ball in the box. At least he picked out somebody and it's good. But it's not a bad person to pick out. Tottenham won. Aston Villa nil. And it's Harry Kane. I mean, I thought here, was it was it, was it early ball even on? Well, it was, well, it, well, it was. But was it, was it a good idea? When he gets the ball here, no, not really. I think he, I think if Kane obviously being deep line forward is a bit deeper than coming in there. So, Actually, right option. I, was, I didn't quite see the line, but the time I looked up to see where the ball, where it was, it was Kane was free. But I think that obviously he'd wait a bit longer than than my initial thought of putting the ball in the box. So yeah, one 0 against Villa. Thank you, guy. Thank you, Kane. Half time, one 0 Um, comfortable is what I'd say. Not the um, most most thrilling game we on the on planet Earth. Um, but let's just continue. A uh, second goal and with. We've done it. I think still in my head it's real probably I'm after just to keep myself from getting too annoyed. But I think top four is definitely something we should be minimum getting this season based on how it's going. But these kind of games are the games that you need to kind of finish off and win, aren't they? Um, you don't want to be getting dropping points, silly points. This reminds me of the West Ham United game. It wasn't much happening. Didn't get didn't get that second goal to get a lead back and then we ended up dropping points in it. So hopefully today we can grind that second goal and make it 2-0 on this one. But I don't like... Oh, he's trying to go for the ball and he's not really got near, near it. Poro could have, could have given back to the keeper there, maybe. Dunjuma. Good ball to War Prowse. War Prowse. He's got runners. He's, what ball that is to Kulosevsky. Hold it up, lad. Hold it up. Harry Kane. Oh, he's got a score. Again, everything was right there. Good ball at the top. Kulosevsky held, held the ball really well. He picked out the right player. Just couldn't find it. But a corner kick, though, with a threat from these. That's a weird. That's the first time he's done that this season. Or Prowse. He's even got to put the ball in the box there or, sh or early on or pass it back to somebody else. He can't just do a touch like that. Throw it, throw in, free kick, whatever. Throw that in, cross that in. Get rid, get rid, get rid of it. Yeah, we're just losing our control of the game now. That's a goal. Oh, well done, Romero. But again, I'm going to break him here. Like I said, wouldn't have up been comfortable. We've not been we've not been ruthless enough, and I'm going to take off uh, Dan Juma. He's looking bit, he's looking very leggy. Get, get Rich Harson on on that left hand side for fresh legs. Not really a great performance from us today, and it smacks of a team a performance that is just just, just, just too casual. Um, to sit on Kane, War Prowse, Kurosevsky, Harry Kane's through. He needs to be more... He, that, he's, that's got to be a goal every time, hasn't it, for him? Mings. Just feels like a, it feels like a game we're asking for it. Just, we just go get the ball, lads. You can't let them... Be, I don't like when they stand off them like that. You've got to try and force a pass. Kane, great ball. Which Arsenal's through. Can he finish it? Our finishing today has been woeful. It really, really has. Well, it looks like we're going to win the game, and we have, but that's not good enough. I'm not having that performance. Kane should have scored twice. Um, he scored one, obviously. Um, Charleston should have scored one, just not clinically in front of goal. Um, yeah, don't think basically we the game. That it just had a feeling of a performance that of a team that they won a little and thought, oh, it's game over, and it wasn't really good enough. But look at the gap. Four points clear at the top. And we've also got a decent gap over fifth. Obviously, they've got a game in hand of the teams, of those teams below us, but they've got to win that game in hand. We've won our game. That's why I think about games in hand is like people say that in real life, don't they? Yeah, but you've got, we've got our points on the board. 
you got to get your you got you got to get yours. So yeah, um, we will come back next episode um, for Mrs. Report, and then after that we'll see where we're at with fixtures. Um, most likely, we'll probably do um, those four of camera, and then come back for that unknown game at FA Cup and Man United. That's probably the next live comes we do. But next episode is going to be Mrs. Report. I'm not going to de- get into details right now because obviously we're doing that next episode. So. If you have enjoyed it, hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you can do it as well. Check out the Let's, Ch- Let, the Let's Play channel down below and the um, TV channels down below. Bit of delay with content because obviously PC has been reset and I'm still nervous about the PC. Essentially what's happened, guys, is we're having these weird freezes, lags and things like that and and crashes. Now, we did a, did a fresh installation of Windows, completely fresh. Um, wipe the hard drive clean and put a new Windows 10 on it. Luckily, I'm not putting in my microphone um, add-ons on, filters on, because it just takes too much time to do it. So it's easy to reset things. And also, now my fan is running, but it's, it's starting to look weird when the PC's out sometimes. But apparently, that's going to be fine. As long as the fan's working, I'm not bothered. There's one PC crashing on me. So, yeah. Uh, catch you all guys tomorrow. Hope you're well. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.